Did you know that you don't have to spend loads of money on the Sony Professional Bluetooth Wireless Remote Control when you can spend at least half that money and get this budget wireless remote control that does exactly the same thing? Or does it? Hey, it's Andre. If you're looking for a budget wireless remote control for your Sony camera because you either don't want to spend the money on a more expensive remote control or even you prefer not to use mobile controllers like the Sony Imaging app or other third-party apps like Monitor Plus, then this remote control from JJC could be the one for you. I'll list the Sony cameras that this remote control is compatible with in the description below, but for me, I'm using it with the Sony ZV-E10. Let's list the three main things that you'd want from a camera remote control. Shutter control, zoom control, and focus control. If it can do those three things, then I'm happy. And this Bluetooth controller, just like the Sony one, can do the lot. Shutter, zoom, and focus. Let's take a closer look at the remote control. On the front, you've got the indicator lamp, the focus and zoom controls for either zooming in and out or focusing and defocusing, depending which mode you're in, the shutter button, the autofocus, the button marked C1, which will be mapped to whatever C1 is programmed to do on your own camera, which for me on the Sony ZV-E10 is the background defocus feature. And you get a nice handle for doing this. On the back, you've got the battery compartment. This remote takes the flat CR2032 battery. There's the movie still switch for alternating between modes. The zoom focus switch, which alternates what the zoom focus controls do on the front of the remote. And the lock switch for those occasions when you want to lock the remote from any unwanted presses. Connecting to your Sony camera is easy. In the network settings menu, ensure the Bluetooth remote control is enabled so that the remote has the ability to work and control the camera. Then go into the Bluetooth settings and then pairing. On the remote control, press and hold the shutter and the T zoom buttons for a few seconds. Wait for the confirmation message on the screen and then select OK. The control is able to communicate with the camera for up to 10 meters away. So that means I can set up the camera here and press record all the way over here, or do it from here, and press from here. When you're using the remote control and in the still mode, there is the ability to half press the shutter down to autofocus, and then further press it down to take the shot. Unfortunately, in the movie mode, that half press shutter option isn't available. But when you do press the shutter button to start the recording, the indicator on the remote control glows red, just like on the frame of the ZV-10 displays, and on the front of the camera itself. If your camera is set to autofocus and you want to change to manually focus on the remote, you would have thought that just pressing a switch would change this. But unfortunately, you have to change the focus to manual from auto from within the camera first before you get to manually be able to focus it with the remote control. The zoom control is going to work best and most visually using power zoom lenses like the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens here. By pressing the zoom controls, you can see the lens physically moving. If you have a manual zoom lens like I have here with the 55 to 200 10 millimeter lens then the only remote zoom controls you'll get is the clear image or digital zoom if you have those enabled on your camera so now with this remote not only can i initiate a recording away from the camera but if i'm taking a shot out in a garden of an insect and a flower but my very presence is going to limit my ability to get the shot i'm going to be able to set up the shot walk away from the camera setup and take the shot when the opportune moment arrives or if i'm taking a shot in a studio and want to get a picture that requires sharpness over a great depth of field using focus stacking where i'm taking loads of shots manually focused at different focusing points and then combining them in post then having something like this bluetooth remote control will allow me to take those shots without ever having to touch the camera and potentially disturbing its position and thereby ruining the shot or from this simple budget version remote control that's easy to connect and simple to use giving you access to everything you need just moments prior to pressing that record button one thing that this remote isn't going to give you is the more advanced camera features that you will have to pre-program first let me know in the comments below if using something like this would help your setup Go check out one of my other videos using this Sony ZV-10. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.